This is the Renaissance. It is right next to the convention center. And I'm sure 90% of their business is people that are staying, that are coming to a convention in the central hall. Because uh, now that the convention center is spread out, you might, you'd be closer, like over on the courtyard Marriott, you'd be closer to the West Hall. But not by much. You do, but you would have to cross the street. So there is a way you can get across the street if there's a convention that's spread out without having to get on the ground. But that's uh, that's usually not necessary. But there's reasons to stay here other than the fact that you're going to a convention because because of the monorail. There's the escalator right there in front of us. All you got to do is walk couple hundred feet and you're on the monorail yes that's one more that's one more small expense but you can get anywhere quickly get to MGM across the way and all of a sudden you're at Allegiant Stadium for a uh, Raiders game or you get down to Sahara maybe you take the bus from there to downtown the location is uh, very, very good. Unfortunately, these uh, casinos over here, Encore, Wynn, Venetian, Lotso, you have to walk around to get to them. So you actually, like if you were going to go to the Encore, you would go up to um, Desert Inn and go west on Desert Inn walking and then you get up to a church and you get, take a, a few little turns and it's a little sketchy in a couple areas. But it's, it's fairly safe. I mean, you got Circus Circus over there and Resorts World. Certainly walkable. Well, let's check out the inside. So they have a quaint little bar in the lobby. Actually, I guess it's a, you can eat food in here. It's called a grill. So. I don't see anybody eating though. Is that plastic on that couch? Just like the old days, that's grandma's couch? Well, I love it. It's good for the grandkids. If I ever have grandkids, I'm gonna try to buy that couch. Very classy um, lobby. And then out here is a swimming pool. It's a very classy hotel. Most people that stay here, if they're not going to convention, they just know the Renaissance brand is good. So let's see. Everybody's got their swimming pool locked up, even though it's the winter is over. Come on, man. They've even got the windows blacked out. Wow. That's taken winter to a new level. Let's see if we can get to it on the other side. It used to be wide open. They do have the hot tub uh, open. Somebody trying to do some romance in there, so evidently there is a way to get out there. But I don't want to see any of that romance. So it's a nice pool. And they usually have this fire going, even in the summertime. Oh, 
Oh, they got a TV now up there. I don't think they had that last time I came by here. Yeah, it's a small pool, but it's adequate. And in the summertime, you'll enjoy the fact that you can pick the shade or the sun because it, it does have a lot of sh shade out here. up these steps. Well, we can get a better look at the pool. Maybe the reflection is not going to let you see it. center it's locked I need to start letting me in everywhere I'm gonna talk to the mayor oh that's right we don't have a mayor we have a county commissioner yeah the convention center is right next door and they've got meeting space here Surprise Motel 6 doesn't have a meeting room. Well, that, that tour didn't take very long, did it? Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, but you, you know, you're not checking into a resort destination you're checking into a basically a business uh, accommodation because you're going to a convention but like I said you can go to this place without necessarily coming for a convention because the location is great and sometimes you'll see this place listed for a decent price and it's top it is top quality there's no doubt about it very very safe and secure too as you go down the street a little bit it gets a little more sketchy but you know if you're staying here the only thing you need to do is either go to desert inn and walk up to the strip or go to the uh, or go to you can walk to westgate or take the uh, monorail anywhere you want and everything on the monorail line is safe. Clean too, except once you get off the monorail property, which I found out doesn't belong to them. The escalators, elevators, at every single stop belongs to that stop. So I found that out at Flamingo. As soon as you go out the exit at the Flamingo station and you head to the escalators, Right there, that's where the monorail hands it off to the hotel. And that particular stop is filthy. But it's not the monorail side that's filthy. The monorail side is clean. The flamingo side is filthy. All right. That's the Renaissance. Become a Renaissance man. Just another choice. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs>